Previously so, on the bill. I'd like to put him for a leave of absence. My son's 11 this year and he'll be going to secondary school. I miss him, I'm not sure. It's okay, I understand. Time spent with your kids is a precious thing. I'll sign the papers in the morning. I'd start you off on a night shift. No, but don't worry, I'll be fine. I'm sure you will. I've got every confidence in you. We'll lose you back in nice and gently. Oh, don't on my account. Working in that country next giving me enough nice and gently to last a lifetime. Hello, stranger. You all right? Yeah. So I hear we only have the pleasure of Sergeant Diane Nabu for one night, is that right? You have indeed. They're reintroducing me with a shift in familiar territory before throwing me to the lions in Barton Street. Oh, well, you know, Sonny, we're all pussycats. But one shift there with Sergeant and Barton Street won't know what's in them. Come on, you got a brief moment around with me? Yeah, I'll see you in there. The inspector's asked to see me first. Two arrests for antisocial behaviour on Gurney Street, one drunk and disorderly outside the Technical College, and we've already had several complaints of kids loitering on Woodley Heath Road. Weekend started early. Yeah, another night of binge drinking disasters. I can't wait. Well, in that case, Leon, you'll be very pleased to hear that we've had a call from the Green Archer on Goddard Street of a man dubiously dressed, chained to a parking meter. You care to volunteer? Uh, no. I'll go. Why? The mention of the chains, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, well, in that case, Stampy, you can go with her. Thank you, Sarge. <laughs> Well, that gives me just enough time to introduce you to your sergeant for the night, Sergeant Diane Noble. Hiya. Hi. Nice to see you all. Glad to be back. Well, some of you will remember Diane from her previous spell with us, but uh, we're all very glad to have you back on board. Sergeant Noble's very keen to head up the relief tonight. Well, my pleasure. Can't wait to remind myself of the joys of Sun Hill. I bet you can't. Right, that's it. Come on, let's get on with the shift. <laughs> Thought about going for your sergeant exam, so? Yeah, but it's too much like hard work, isn't it? This diet's about to find out. That's mean. Well, it's just not easy, is it? Stepping up out of the game. I mean, I've seen too many people trying in the past. We've always had two good problems, even Smithy. No way. Yeah, he did, honest. Hello. Be a stag night. You all right, sunshine? Are you lonesome tonight? Three one two from Sierra Oscar, Naylor Court, flat thirty seven. Resident complaining of a disturbance. Over. Yeah, Sierra Oscar from two one two in the vicinity. Uh, shows dealing over. Tell me what going. Hey, we can't leave me. Give me a chain to this. He's all shook up. Enough. Just untie him. Uh. <laughs> oh. All right, off you go, Elvis. Go on. Now, that's the wonder of you. A little less conversation, a little more action, Tony. Oh, don't sing. Mr. Ferdinand, PC Brown, PC Stamp, Sunhill. You made a complaint? Yeah, we've just moved in. Only to find we've got the neighbours from hell. I can't hear anything. You will. We were just about to have our first meal here, then that lot appeared. See? Okay. Sir Oscar 595. Go ahead. Yeah, that called to Murillo Street. We got a load of youths partying on the roof of a building site. Request backup, please. They went lying when they said moving house is one of the most stressful experiences in life. Then when you've done it, this happens. Don't worry, sir. We'll sort it. Marilla Street, now that's down near the library, right, PC Brown? The common, and it's PC Taylor, Sarge. I knew that. Did you just call me Sarge? Yeah, it's, it's okay, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's more than okay. Maybe security can help, eh? Hey? They must have heard the racket. Couldn't count on it. Excuse me, sir.
What have we got? Youths planting up on the roof. Well, it's still early, so hopefully they're not too far gone yet. Right, he admits I slipped him a few cans to turn a blind eye and deaf ear, Sergeant. OK, priority is to get everybody down safely. Only then do we worry about names and addresses. You lot stay down here. Tony, PC Taylor, you come with me. PC Brown, nick him. Right, let's go. When we get up there, kill the music. Take it easy, nothing heavy. Safety is paramount, theirs and yours. We don't want any kids trying to leg it and doing something stupid. Let me do the talking, OK? And safely, okay? There are police officers waiting downstairs for you. Come on. Judge. OD? It looks like it. Sierra Oscar from 437. Ambulance required at Murillo Street, the building site. We have a young icy right. male. Right, does anyone know what he's taken? Overdose, Come on, does anyone know him? Yeah, Denny. Right, Denny, you're going to be okay. There's an ambulance on its way. Someone! Yeah. Someone help! It's Kieran! He's up on the roof, he's lost it! Yeah! <laughs> Can you stay with Denny? Chase that ambulance and get this lot downstairs. Nice. Right, Tony, guys, come with me, show me. What's his name again? Uh, Kieran, Kieran Lawler. Has he taken anything? Yeah. What? I don't know. Same stuff as you make down there? Uh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. You stay here, Tony. Hi, right, Kieran. I'm Diane. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Kieran, what are you playing at? Why don't you come down from there and we can talk about what's on your mind? Freedom! Freedom's on my mind. Freedom to choose. To choose what? What to do with my life. He can't do nothing about it. Who? My dad. Always bossing, always nagging, always right. Well, why don't we go and talk to him? We'll come down from there and we can go and sort this out. Come on. Can't move. No, it's all right, Kieran. Don't panic. No, I'm serious. I can't move my legs. Kieran, look at me. Kieran, go! Stand there. Stand there. Josh, everyone down from the roof, okay? Yeah, PC Taylor and PC Brown are interviewing them now. What about Kieran? Yeah, he's unconscious but stable. He's got a broken collarbone, smashed a tibia, which they've reset. He's going to be okay, though. You did brilliantly up there. Well, I don't know about that, but thanks, Tony. Sarge, and the kid who overdosed, Denny Carling, he's groggy but okay, so they said we could speak to him now. Do they know what he's taken? Not yet. They're waiting on the toxicology results from the FME. We found Kieran's wallet and his mobile phone and a packet that got pills in with a little star logo on. Ecstasy by the looks of it. So we've got two lads, both totally out of it on drugs. Either they didn't know what they were doing and they took too many. Or they took something that was dodgy. Where are the parents? Both Kieran's parents are in there now. Right, well you go and check on Denny and we'll go and talk to the lawless. Okay. Hi. I'm Sergeant Noble from Sun Hill and this is PC Stamp. How is he? I've said he'll make a full recovery. That's it for the rest of the football season, though. He won't know what to do with himself, will he? Did you see Kieran earlier? Yes, and um, he came home briefly after school, about five. How did he see him? He was fine. Did you have words? No, why? He just seemed upset before he fell from the roof. You were there? I was. Then why don't you stop him? Your son was a bit confused and agitated. Agitated? We have reason to believe that Kieran's taken drugs. 
No, 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 that's impossible. No, Kieran would never take drugs. He must have got it wrong. Sarge. Excuse me. Yeah. The toxicology report indicated that Kieran and Denny didn't take ecstasy. They took ketamine. But ketamine has a totally different effect, doesn't it? It's a horse tranquilizer. It's an anesthetic mainly. That might explain why Kieran's legs seized when it was up on the roof. I thought you said the pills looked like ease. They did? I spoke to Denny, and it was Kieran who got the drugs in the first place. Denny doesn't know who from. He swears blind they thought they were ease. I don't think they knew what they were taking. It was just a few drinks on the roof. What did Kieran take? Look, we're trying to find out what happened because we're concerned. Telling us what you know isn't going to get Kieran into any more trouble than he's already in. He... he took some ease. Are you sure? That's what he said. Did you take any? It, it's not me. And it wasn't Kieran either, until tonight. Where did he score? I don't know. You don't know who from? No. So why tonight? He wanted to get back at his dad. Dead rowed. About what? Kieran was meant to go home after school to go to footy training. His dad's obsessed with it. Anyway, me and him bunked off instead. Kieran decided he wanted to get a tattoo. For some stupid reason, he then went back and showed his dad, who went ballistic, like he always does. Call it the Stephen Granger. Kieran had a row with his dad about a tattoo after missing football training. It's clearly family strife. Well, why didn't his parents just admit it? Surely it's normal to row with a teenage kid. But apparently they do it a lot. So it might be worth checking their family history. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, I just want to go into CID and check if they've come across ketamine been sold as ecstasy in Sunil before. Is everything else all right? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Well, trying to talk a drugged up kid off the edge of a building is quite a welcome back, you know. Yeah, well, no one said it'd be easy. Still, I mean, if you need me. Well, well, the mighty Sergeant Noble returns. Nice to see you. Into the deep end, too, by all accounts. Yeah, uh, we've got two youths. They've taken ketamine thinking it was ecstasy pills. Not recommended. No, exactly. They didn't know what was the safe amount to take or the effects it was going to have on them. They might not be the first or the last. Well, what do these pills look like? Well, exactly like ease, right down to the star logo. I mean, why would a dealer do that? Market forces, I suppose. Charge more money for ease, more profit margin. Yeah, but it's got a totally different effect. They're not likely to get people going back for more, are they? Yeah, but a low-level dealer's not going to care about that because he's not in it for a long-term reputation. Sarge, I've checked Kieran Lawler's phone. There's two texts to a Sarah, both a bit cryptic, but clearly about getting hold of ease. Who's the number registered to? Sarah Lawler. That's Kieran's sister. She's an addict with a string of previous drug offences. According to the voting register, she still lives with her parents. What, the parents never mentioned this? No. I mean, they were adamant that Kieran wouldn't ever take drugs. I they're in denial. Or they're covering. Right, let's go and talk to him again. There's Mrs. Lawler. Just getting some air. How's Kieran? Same. The doctors have confirmed he did take drugs. Ketamine, was it? Yeah. Although we don't think Kieran knew what he was taking. We think someone sold him one drug pretending it was another. Why would someone do that? Because dealers are scum. I hope you're here to tell us that you've charged whoever well, did this to our boy. No, not really. We're here to talk to you about your daughter. So. This has nothing to do with her. Are you sure? Because Kieran contacted her a few hours ago. No, 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 that's impossible. He's not even in touch with her. We've checked his phone records. Sarah wouldn't give Kieran drugs. He sent her a text asking for drugs. I don't care. She wouldn't. Does Sarah live at home with you? No, no, no. She does not live with us. She's registered to your address on the electoral roll. She left 13 months ago. She didn't move out. We asked her to leave. What Michelle means is I kicked her out. Our daughter is a heroin addict, and her addiction was destroying our family life. Well, still is, by the sounds of it. We tried to be supportive and understanding. We coped with the lying, the worry, the stealing. We saw doctors, we got her on treatments, we even went to counselling with her. And she repaid us by prostituting herself in our home. So yes, we took action, thought it would snap her out of it. Haven't heard from her since. She's not a bad girl, she just got involved with the wrong people. She was having a relationship with another addict. Do you know where she is now? No, we do not have any contact with her. 
And what about the guy that she was involved with? Ray, something. A complete waste of space. The pair of them, total mess. Well, we better get back in there. He's a good dad. Just wants what's best for his kids. I know. We've got Kieran's phone. We could just get Sarah's number and call her ourselves. No, I mean, if she is involved, she'll run a mile. Hang on a minute. Smithy? It's Stephen Granger still at the station. Uh, hang on a sec. Did Kieran ever mention a sister to you? Sarah. Do you know her? I met her a couple of times way back, yeah. Do you know if he still sees her? Yeah. Yeah, recently, recently, yeah, he has. He doesn't like lying to his mum, but he says it's the only place he can really be himself. See, we think that he was given drugs by his sister, so we need to talk to her. Do you know where she lives? No idea. Do you think you might call her for us? I haven't got a number. I have. Look, all you need to do is tell her that you need to see her and it's about Kieran. Lie, you mean? No, help, I mean. In there. That's really... Uh, hello, Sarah. It's Steve up. A, a mate of Kieran's. Look, he's he's in trouble. I, I I can't really explain over the phone. Can I come see you? Yeah. Yeah, I I know it. Thanks. I'll I'll come straight away. Flat 28. Skylight block on Thrill Road. Well, well done. Bye, Anne. We've got an address. Sergeant Noble and PC Ryder from Sunhill. Is it about Kieran? Can we come in, please? How did you find me? We got your number from Kieran's phone, and then we twisted his mate Stevo's arm to give you a call. It's really important. Can we come in, please? Thanks. Kieran's fallen from a roof. <gasps> he's in hospital, but he's going to be all right. He scored what he thought was ecstasy earlier this evening, but in fact it was ketamine. I have to see him. Now's not a good time to visit. Are my parents with him? to know how Kieran got the drugs. So you checked my previous and thought it must be his druggy smackhead sister, right? You do have a history of drug-related incidents. Your father seems. My to... father thinks that I have horns and a tail. We know that Kieran texted you asking for drugs. And I phoned him. And I said no. My life fell apart because of smack. Why would I risk sending my brother down the same path? Drugs make people do all sorts of things. Well, for the record, I'm clean. I haven't done any drugs in over six months. Good for you. How did you turn it all around? After two years doing everything you can think of just to get the next fix and ruining my life and everyone else's life around me, I hit rock bottom. Now I've got a programme. That must be tough. It is. I have help, and I'm not saying I'm through it. Do you have counselling? Three times a week. I've applied to go back to studying. And I work in a drop-in centre helping others in the same boat. Why didn't you tell your parents any of this? My dad told me I was dead to him. And once he makes up his mind, he doesn't budge. Your mum and dad said they tried to help you. We went to counselling, but... Dad could never see that perhaps he was part of the problem. 
In what way? It's just the pressure he put on me. He was desperate for me to go to university because he never did. I guess I reacted badly. Your mum and dad mentioned a boyfriend. It's an ex-boyfriend. Ray Pelosi. He went with the drugs. We weren't exactly good for each other. Does Kieran know him? We met him once or twice, why? Would Ray sell Kieran drugs? I don't know, mate. If Ray's done this, then... Yeah, we'll sort it out. Well, what about Kieran? I need to see him. Look, the best thing for you is to just stay here and keep your head down for now. And we'll be in touch when we know something, OK? Sarah says she isn't a dealer and I believe her. She's a recovering addict and she says she refused to give Kieran drugs when he asked for them. And why would you believe the word of a drug addict? Because even addicts tell the truth sometimes, Stuart. I mean, she didn't look like she was using. I mean, she's hit rock bottom. Why would she want the same for her brother? Maybe to get back at her parents? Well, by risking her brother's life. No, she clearly cares for him. I mean, if she was responsible, why didn't she just tell him what the drugs were? It just doesn't make sense for her to lie about it. All right, point taken. Is there a Ray Pelosi on that list of dealers? Well, I'll be going through them one by one, but, uh... Yes, there is. Functioning drug addict recently taken to low-level dealing. He's Sarah's ex. And I know that Kim's met him, so if she didn't give him the drugs... You went straight to her ex? We'll check on the streets. Anything else? Uh, maybe. We found an oyster card in Kieran's wallet. We're running checks on it now to pinpoint his movements before he went to the roof party. No flies on you. 48 from 437. Over. 48. Stephen, go ahead. Yeah, I see one female, speechless and out of it in the middle of Tallow Lane. We searched her and we found white tablets. They look like ecstasy, but they've got the exact same star logo as the ketamine we found earlier. The latest. Joy Whitehead. Her condition is stable and it's just been confirmed that she also took care. She and her mates have been at a club on Newley Street called Flo. So any news on Kieran's whereabouts earlier today? According to his Oyster card, he takes the tube from Canley North to Waverley Park at 1810 this evening. Um, he then heads to Mafkin Street towards Flo Nightclub. He leaves Flo at 1832 and heads towards Murillo Street um, towards the roof party. What about Pelosi? Well, his name's all over Sarah Lawler's old arrest sheets. Also, I've got a snout down at Flo who says that he sometimes deals in and out of the place and also that he arrived there just after six to see me. OK, let's see if he's still there. Uh, the hospital just phoned. Kieran's regained consciousness. I'd like to go and speak to him. Sure. So, if Pelosi's down at Flo, do you want us to bring him in? I don't think so. I think we should wait for Kieran's confirmation first. I agree. Hey. I was hoping I could have a word with Kieran. Well, you can try, but you won't get any sense out of him. Oh, Brendan. I should have known his sister would try to get her claws in. Was it her? It didn't used to be like this, you know? Tattoos and drugs and... She's got nothing. I didn't ask you. Maybe we should talk to Kieran alone. Oh, so I'm not even allowed to be here. Do whatever you want to do. Sure, I'll get to 148. I'm just going to take this. Remember me? How are you feeling? A bit better. We spoke to your mate Steve-O. He told us about the tattoo and you rowing with your dad. Is that why you took the drugs? To get back at him? My mum tells me you're quite the little footballer. The next Ronaldo, eh? If my dad has his way. You're not so keen. I used to be, but it's just no fun anymore. Why not? He's always on at me to practice. I just want to be like everyone else. I hang out with my mates and stuff, you know? It was right when Sarah was home. She knew what he was like. Well, maybe you could talk to her now. Sarah? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, I will. See ya. Come soon though, yeah? Love ya. Who gave you the drugs, Kieran? It wasn't Sarah, was it? She wouldn't. So I went to Ray. Ray Pelosi. Sarah's ex. Gave me his number way back when Sarah and him were together. So I called him. He gave me some drugs for free. Even gave some on make some. Sad. Thank you. We've just had confirmation that Pelosi's still at flow. What do you want to do? Nothing right now. Or don't we want to nick him? Oh, yeah. But the only way we're going to do that is if we can prove he's dealing. So we're going to have to go to the club and see him do it. If we just bring him in and interview him, he's going to stonewall, and then it's just his word against a bunch of drug-taking teenagers. Decent solicitor would easily get him off the hook. We don't know where he's going to be tomorrow or the day after. The right, we're going. It's only going to be a matter of time until someone gets seriously hurt. OK. Inspector. We need to catch Pelosi in the act. If he is dealing out of flow, then I think it's worth a shot. Right, great. Well, let's do it. You sure you're up to it? Meaning what, exactly? Well, meaning it's an awful lot to handle on your first shift back. Which is why I'm asking you for your help. But if it was this time next week, I'd be going in on my own. Great. So how do you want to play it then, Sergeant? Right. Well, uh, first off, I think we should go and speak to Sarah, find out about her time with Ray Pelosi. Why? Because she might be able to tell us something useful about how he operates. She might also be able to tell Ray Pelosi what we're planning. No, she's genuine. Sure? Yeah, I'm positive. We need your help. It's my fault. No, it's not your fault. It's Ray's. Did he introduce you to drugs? Yeah. But at the time, I didn't take much persuading. He doesn't change, does he? He's probably doing this to get back at me. Why would he want to get back at you? For getting clean? Dumping him to do it. Was he selling drugs when you knew him? He just started when we split. He's at a club tonight. We're going to go in and try to catch him actively dealing. What we need to know is if you can remember anything about how he operates. How much stash does he normally have on him? Is it just ease or does he deal other drugs as well? I don't know. I try to stay away from even thinking about drugs, you know? I appreciate that, Sarah, but what happened to your brother could happen to someone else with even worse consequences if we don't stop Ray. He had a, a knackered old blue car, a, a Mercedes or something, I think. I, at least he used to, I don't know. He's saying he deals out of his car? No. He didn't like carrying too much on him at any one time. So that if he got caught, he could say it was for personal use. So what, he goes back and forth to the car, in and out of the club? Yeah, as much as he needs to, yeah. Thanks, Sarah. It could be a real help. DC Fletcher and PC Ryder are already in the nightclub keeping their eye on Pelosi. Who else is going inside? There'll be myself, PC Taylor and Sergeant Smith inside. We'll split into groups of two with one of us floating. Keep eye contact at all times and phone contact where necessary. What about exits? Well, there's one main exit and three fire exits. We'll need to position ourselves so that they're in sight at all times. Right, where do you want me? DS Turner will be in an unmarked car outside watching, so I'd like you to be with him. So what are we waiting for Pelosi to do? Uh, well, more than that, we do want to catch Pelosi dealing, but we want to make sure there's a sufficient quantity of drugs on him to prove intent to supply. Uh, we'll need someone to score off him, I'm not sure who. Uh, PC Taylor, all yours. Right, according to Sarah Lawler, Pelosi keeps his stash in a vehicle outside, he heads in and out as required. The last known vehicle that she can remember is a blue Mercedes. That's where we think he keeps his supply. 
and we'll need to run a check of vehicles registered to him. Okay, keep it discreet and on your toes at all times, please. He is a dealer as well as an addict. Any more questions? Okay, get changed and good luck. Nicely handled. Talk's cheap. You'll be fine. A certain Mr. Pelosi. Yeah, well, he's here somewhere. Apparently, he's hard to keep a track of because he keeps moving around. He's in the VIP area. Right, great. Keep your eye on him. What do you think of her? The jury's still out. The chef's not over yet. Stuart, we've still got Simon Pelosi. He's in the VIP lounge. Yeah, I'll keep you updated. Going all right so far. You're not worried, are you? Yeah, but don't tell anyone. I wasn't planning on it. Some shift. <laughs> so is this what you were hoping for, coming back to the smoke? Well, I didn't think I'd be quite this busy on my first shift, but yeah, it's exactly what I'm after. The challenge. Life as a PC out in the sticks, a little bit too quiet for you, was it? I didn't move away for the job. I left to sort out my family life. With Gary and I, we both had joint custody over Robert, but it just never worked out that way. No, I went away to uh, reconnect, I think they call it. Oh, right. And did you? Yeah. Things are really good now between me and Gary as well. Well, here's to that. Yeah. Cheers. Mm, Pelosi's in the VIP lounge and we're stuck out here. I'll be out soon enough. Well, for all we know, he might have stopped dealing for the night. He always is positive, Serge. Yeah, I am, when I'm following intelligence given to us by a known smack addict, yeah. Diane! Stuart, as long as it takes. Everything all right? Yeah, nothing I can't handle. Potential customer, maybe? Well, he doesn't hang about, does he? What do you want us to do? Follow him? No need. Well, when are you going to send Leon in? When Pelosi's current stock's depleted. We need to trigger a refill. Assuming Sarah's right. Hang about. Isn't that... Brendan Lawler. What's he doing here? Something tells me he hasn't come for a quiet pint. Diane, Brendan Lawler's just showed up. Yeah, he's heading into the club. Brendan Lawler! You! Yeah, what you want? You will ruin my family. Wait, what? Mate, she's not a pint, have you? What's the matter with you? My son is in hospital because of... I think you're doing. Get up. No, 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 no,
Oh, don't say that. Oh, come on, you're kidding. Mate, honestly, ordinarily I'm more organised than this tonight. Sprung on me. Mate, look, I've got dollars on me, look. What are you after? A couple of pills. I don't know, I haven't really got out with me. With you? Right, OK. So, is it close by? Cos I can wait. I can wait. All right. I'll wait here, yeah? Yeah, I got him. Mm, looks like he's going for reinforcements. Yeah, that always rumbled us in his mouth and leg it. <laughs> Yours is cheery. Learn it from you. <laughs> Okay, he's topped up and he's heading back in. Thanks. What? Yeah. Right, loads and back. When the deal's done, the lights are gonna go on and we'll be ready. So, where were we? I'll get you that beer. Nice one. Cheers. Enjoy. I will do. Hey, one other thing. Yeah, make it quick. You nick. Going somewhere? Going so soon? Lizzie, I'm arresting you on suspicion of intent to supply. Oh, come on, mate, it's just a couple of times. Yeah, we know about the car full of it outside. What car? Oh. Get him out of here. What's that? Oh. Result? Yeah, just finished interviewing Pelosi. He's caved. We've got him with intent to supply. Good work, Sergeant. Looks like Barton Street got themselves quite a catch. Yeah, as if I wake up to get there, I could see it for a week. No, you forgot what it's like to pull an all-nighter. Don't tell me. All the criminals in Hertfordshire are in bed by nine o'clock. Uh, they had their moments, believe me. Do you want a cup of coffee before you go? Uh, I don't know. I'll go on. I'll even find a bacon butty. Go on, then. After you. Any units from Sierra Oscar, this is 437 at St Hughes' Hospital. There's a man on the rooftop, believe suicidal. Show 54 and 48 are signed over. I'm sorry, that back in back is going to have to wait. Yeah, that was Leon. He's at St Hughes. It's Brendan Lawler on the roof. I need you to set up a cordon and keep everyone as far away from the building as possible. All my team were on standby. Good. Where's the fire engine? Uh, ETA two minutes, but uh, with the roof that high, I don't seem to be in much use. We'll keep them tucked away when they arrive and tell them no blues and twos. The more of a circus we create down here, the more jumpy you'll get up there. I thought it was use of words, Mom. Is Leon still up there? Yeah, he is, but he's not convinced he's making any headway. All right, I'll head up there now. Uh, actually, Mum, I'd like to be the one to talk to him. All right, be careful. Thanks, Mum. What's going on? He hasn't said a word. I can't even get him to turn around. It's like he's totally shut down. Okay. I'll go and talk to him. Sergeant Noble, I've got some good news. We've arrested Ray Pelosi. He's confessed. I've spoken to her, Sarah. I mean, and your wife. Yeah! I know you're hurting. But there are other ways to take that pain away. What else do I do? <laughs> Come away from there. Come downstairs and talk to your family. And do what? Ruin their lives some more, put them through more pain, more misery. Brandon, what's happened over the last few years is not your fault. Isn't it? Well, I don't see who else is to blame 
There's no one to blame. Of course there is. I am. I pushed them. I wanted them to have better chances than I'd had to, to make a go of their lives so they could be happier than I was. Of course I pushed them. But I pushed them too hard. I pushed them all away. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. They're better off without me. No, they don't think that. Well, then they should. They shouldn't be so bloody forgiving. Please, let me do this. Please. That's what you can't stand about all this. Is that your family can forgive you everything. And you can't forgive yourself. Maybe you tried too hard. Maybe they needed you not to be such a good dad. It doesn't matter now, it's a bit late for all that. No, it's never too late. Please, believe me. Please, come away from there. Come downstairs and be there for your family. Have you got a home to go to? The delights of paperwork. Just you wait. There's something to look forward to. So have you got any survival tips to offer me? Don't tell me you're still nervous after today. Mm. Well, the scales have tipped from terrified to pretty damn scared, so basically, yeah. You took a carload of drugs off the street today and arrested the dealer. You stopped a father of two from killing himself in spectacular fashion, I might add. There's nothing I can tell you that you don't already know. Thanks, Smithy. You stay in touch. Yeah. See ya. See ya. Night, Sarge. Night, Sarge. See ya. I take it you've heard DS Turner thinks he's running CID today. You know the best you can do. Then what's the point of you? Easy, Stuart. Shut up! Hey, you look like a classic burglary. No, it looks like you didn't give it the proper care and attention. I've blown it. <laughs> <laughs>